Hello, my name is Bill Buchanan and I'm a professor in the School of Computing at Edinburgh Napier University. I'm also the Associate Editor-in-Chief of the JBBA. So why do I do blockchain? Well, as many people will see it as hype, blockchain, DLT, call it what you want. I see under the hood and I see the beauty of the world that we're creating. Unfortunately, the internet was created to, to really support a whole bunch of computers connecting to each other. They had no concept of citizens eventually uh, connecting to it and building communities. So under the hood, I see the beauty of the Merkle tree, the way that we can make sure that every single transaction that we do is trusted, the way that we can actually determine what happened in the past and to make sure that that all makes complete sense. The information world that we've created has very little trust integrated into it and the Merkle tree is one of the most beautiful things that have ever been created in computer science and is building a new world. I love it because I see the beauty in the Snor signature and it, to me it provides real uh, identification of citizens. I can create my own private and public key. I can then put a transaction onto the blockchain and instantly everyone knows that I have actually signed that transaction. There's no need for Microsoft Active Directories to prove my login ID or a Facebook uh, identifier. There is cryptography underneath which makes sure that I own my own identity and everyone can know that I have signed something straight away. And then there's what's called the Pedersen commitment. In this way, we can blind things. We can make commitments to knowing things and then at some time in the future, we can actually reveal them. So the work that's going on in the anonymization of the blockchain layer really is a new world being created. It's a trustworthy world, but it puts the ownership of data back into the hands of those who own it and not to be mined by large, faceless corporations. And I also think that our world gives away too many of our secrets. And with methods such as the Fiat Shamir method, I see the real beauty of to be able to prove things like your password without actually revealing it. So of all the methods that have really been integrated, we've spent the last few years bringing them all together, experimenting, making it better, while still running the whole infrastructure. We are in a period of the most amazing discovery in creating our data infrastructure. We've had 40 to 50 years of creating our digital systems and really we have to come to the point to know that there are too many opportunities created for cyber criminals, for untrusted entities, for fraud, for ransomware and for many other things. We need to now build new societies and at the core of that, that infrastructure must be solid cryptography at the lowest layer and good solid software engineering methods. Only then can we then try to integrate uh, rights of citizens and strong governance. Along with this we need to look at new models of consent and of delegation. Once we can get that correct we will now rebuild our society in a much more citizen focused way. It will transform our healthcare systems, our public sector, our governments, our industry, our businesses. Things will happen much easier and things will flow better. But most of all, things will become more trustworthy. Our challenge in the next few years is to bridge the gap between digital trust 
and human trust. When we do that, we will have a new world and the citizen will be at the core of that world. Thank you.